iPhone SE iOS 11 public beta 2 review. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone SE iOS 11 public beta 2 review. Now in this video we're going to take a look at the software and how it's performing here on the iPhone SE. Now if you guys want to see what comes in iOS 11 public beta 2 be sure to go ahead and check out my release video. I'll drop it down below in the comments section of this video as well as in the description maybe a card up here as well but I use this to showcase the iOS 11 public beta beta 2 and let's get into it right now. All right guys, so here we are in iOS 11 public beta 2. Now I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the version we are running here, settings, and we're gonna scroll down and you can see iOS 11 15A 513G signifying iOS 11 public beta 2. So coming back home here, well, I'm just going to simply go through the applications as I do in all my reviews just to see if it does lag up at all just going through the general user interface. So scrolling down on notification tray you've seen it did not respond very well there again and again and again. So there's some issue going on with notification center right there. So you see this beta is still not perfect. Now let's go ahead and lock the screen open it up and see if we can get that notification tray to open this time. So you see there it goes. So definitely there is some still some bugs here as you've seen it happen right there live on camera. But going through the general user interface in terms of its smoothness, not bad at all in terms of this aspect. Now going into the control center, this is also quite smooth. And like I say, if you want to see a full features of what comes with beta 2, go ahead and check that down below in the comment section of this video or in the description. I'll leave the link to that video. But also Apple has said to bring springboard responsiveness, meaning that the application should should look a little bit more visually appealing. So let's check that out. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the springboard response to see if this has improved. So let's go into Instagram for example, and you can see the application did open fine there. Let's go into Snapchat. You can see not bad there. Let's go into Amazon. So the animation is definitely a little bit smoother here when it comes to this new public beta 2. Let's go into a game and see how snappy that is. So there's Subway Surfers for example and loading up just fine here on iOS 11 public beta 2 and you can see we should be in the game in just a second and there we go so definitely the applications work good enough for day-to-day -day use here for b2 or public beta 2 appy geek don't allow this and hit ok go to digest and you can see decent, decent, decent performance in terms of third party applications. Now, some developers still haven't updated their apps to work properly with iOS 11. So you're going to run into some issues here and there on a few apps. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. So guys, I brought in the iPhone 7 Plus to go ahead and do this speed test right here. I'm going to run through all of these applications and we're going to see how long it does take. Three, two, let's go. And you see calendar opens fine. Photos opens fine camera fine let's go into youtube coming back home here let's go into stocks decent let's go into maps and you can see maps wants my location let's go into weather let's go into voice memos let's go into notes and let's go into clock let's go into calculator let's go into settings let's go into the itunes store and let's come home, let's go into the app store and we should be done here at 3173. So you can see that the speed of iOS 11 public beta 2 is plenty quick enough. Now let's go ahead and run through those applications again. We no longer need this, we're just trying to see the speed here. Now let's go into the calendar, multitasking is fine, fine. Let's go into camera, just good. YouTube, stocks, maps. So you can see iPhone SE is running iOS 11 like it's nothing. So that's pretty good to see if you did want to go ahead and try out the iPhone SE on 11. It's not going to be an issue running this day to day for the most part. There's going to be some bugs here and there, but this is one of the better devices for running the public beta 2. All right, guys, so what about the multitasking on the SE Beta 2? This is an area that Apple says it's fixed as well, which is the crashing in this multitasking tray. And it seems that going through it, it seems fine here. But going into the application, no problems there. Let's go into the camera. You can see it's fine there. Scrolling through, not bad at all. So definitely no bugs here in terms of this multitasking tray anymore. It's still a little bit slower than we would, I think I would like in terms of animation visual looks, but overall, it's going to be usable for day to day here for your iPhone SE in terms of the multitasking on beta 2. 
So if I don't do this, I know somebody's going to be like, come on, do a Geekbench. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Geekbench here on the iPhone SE for public beta 2. Let's go ahead and CPU and let's run this benchmark and I will be back when it is done. So we finished with a 2537 in the single core and a 4416 in the multi-core score. Now going back home, I do want to look at one more thing, which is the camera, because this is something that we could just not use a beta if this is not working properly. So let's go ahead and bring in this lens, for example. Just give me a second and pull this lens out for this sample. And we got to see if the camera lags up in use. So we got this lens right here. This is a Canon FD lens made in Japan. And let's go ahead and see how this camera works here. So the photo works, the square mode is good, panel seems good, video looks good, time lapse looks good as well. So no crashes there. You know, a lot of times, you know, this is an area where it could be potentially a problem. So it's good to see that in beta 2, there's no issues when it comes to the camera on the SE. Now that's pretty much gonna wrap it here for the iPhone SE. I do wanna mention a couple things you do get here within beta two for your SE, and that's the ability to add content blockers in Safari, as well as add blockers across the iOS are now available for beta 2. So anyway, that wraps it up here for me. This is the way I'm going to do this review. This is not really, you know, looking at all the features. This is more looking at the real world, you know, checking out how the speed is, the fluidity, just seeing if this thing is usable day to day. And that, I think that's really what we want to know when we're asking ourselves the question, should I download this? A lot of people aren't even going to pay attention to those little features in the background. We, we, we want to see more of the bigger features come to iOS, and we're going to still have to see how this file system develops and things like that but if you found this video helpful if you got an iphone se go ahead and hit the thumbs up down below comment down below any video suggestions you would like to see if you're watching this video with a different smartphone android iphone whatever you'd like to see go ahead drop that down below we can talk about that and uh, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace